I think the key messages in our state and outlook of the environment report are very clear. The first one is rather simple. We should do things better. Yeah? We, there are a number of countries that are not fully implementing what we agreed at the European level. It's the so-called implementation gap. The second message is we should also do things differently. The current trajectories of policies are not going to deliver strong sustainability. That is why we need more systemic and transitional type policies. The third message in the SOER is actually that there is a risk in the next decade. The risk is that we make the wrong investments, that we keep investing in costly marginal efficiency gains in those systems that we already have. Better combustion engines, better coal-fired power plants, those would be the investments that may bring us to 2030, but are not really investments towards serious sustainability. So the challenge is to make the right type of investments in breakthrough technologies that will lead us to that low carbon circular economy with strong environmental qualities in 2050. And the last conclusion is that this is of course not just a challenge for the European institutions, or for national governments or local governments, it is really a challenge to European society. Thousands of projects that are uh, emerging in our cities or in the countryside, bottom up, of people who also reflect on these issues and come with their solutions. And that, of course, includes also having a fair distribution